All right, we're here at Huxley, uh, Iowa, Dollar General. Just got done jetting the line. That's where the mop sink comes in right there. That must be where the toilet comes in. I'm going to flush that and... Alright, that is not where the toilet rolls into. That must be the sink. <laughs> nope, the sink came up from before, so that must be the mop sink entrance. Yep, that's what that is. The screen keeps wanting to turn off for some reason. Alright, so we go down, we transition at the floor to some pretty scaled up cast iron. Scale coming off from the cast iron. Hmm. Don't know why that keeps turning off. toilet one more time you can see there's liquid sitting in the line the toilet flushed and the, the line automatically goes under the water draining back out. So that's that rust stuff? That yeah, that's from me jetting it. I pulled it back out. It just broke up a lot of that loose scale that's what that is it's loose scale the pipes action pretty rough shape so eventually it all sometime. yeah that's all scale um yeah they can reline it um Would you mind flushing the toilet for me? It's pushing away. Yeah. That's where the toilet comes in. 
there from the, the left side of the pipe coming down. Drawing with the main line. Go ahead and flush it again for me if you don't mind. Yep. So it's coming in at a hard T. Mm -hmm. So instead of going straight down the line, it's coming in and it's fl it's flowing there. it's flowing back towards the sink and the mop sink. This line right here. Mm -hmm. It's going out right now because the line is clear. So that's why we have to give you a call because it builds up. There. It's possible it could be the spot. Um, the last few times it's been, looking back at the notes, it was about 30 feet in. And then I was able to jet out to about uh, 150 feet before I couldn't get the jetter hose to go anymore. At about 130 feet it hit some type of turn. So we'll find that here. Yeah, the cast iron is in pretty rough shape. Um, Seems like it's kind of rough. Could use a chain knocking to try and descale it. That would help some. But there's an inlet right there at 26 feet coming from the top, so that's probably a, a clean out or a floor drain of some sort. Um, I didn't locate it yet, so I'm not sure which direction it's going. It's going that way or behind us. Yeah, I'll probably do that. I'll probably locate it. Why does that keep turning off? My guess would be behind us since they have a bathroom over there too, right? Or not necessarily? Not necessarily because they join into the main line. Um, it could be their bathroom. Um, wouldn't know until we are able to locate the line and figure out where that's at. Um, so we'll, at 27 feet, we'll make a note of that. Could be a clean out, could be a floor drain. All depends on which direction it goes. I'll get my locator wand and locate which direction we're heading, and then we'll know from there. Standing water in the line right here. Is that a wipe? No, it's not a wipe. That's a ball of saran wrap, possibly. Surprised the the jetter hose didn't push it all the way down. Nor the snake. Must have went right past it. So they can push past. That's not what's causing the blockage because yeah. the camera's going past it, but. There could be like theft items. Could be. Um, it's okay. hard to tell from the picture okay. of what it is exactly. So I started locking my door so they can't just walk back. Yeah, if, if I had to take a guess, it looks like saran wrap wrapped around. chunk of calcium or concrete but I don't think that's what it is. It's got huh camera's having difficulties.
Well, that's not good. It keeps wanting to shut down on me. It's not because the battery's low, is it? No. I was going to say, if it did, I can unplug my extension cord. Cause none of these no, it, keeps, it keeps rebooting for some reason. Sounds like our system. And our registers. It's a newer camera, too. So why it keeps doing that, I don't know. First it was killing the screen, now it's rebooting the system. I'm going to turn it off and restart.